Morning everybody. I have waited a long time to make this video. 27 years in fact. Hello everyone and welcome to the Mindful Homestead. My name is Jack and if you're new to the channel, we are a small farm here in southwestern New Hampshire where we raise pastured pork, uh, pastured poultry, eggs, and really just try to feed our family with as much food as we can produce. It's July 4th weekend, we've had a great time. Uh, my family is up in town visiting, my mother and father from New Jersey. And back in the day, my mom used to be a pretty avid canner and they recently sold their house down in New Jersey. When she was cleaning out the cabinets in the kitchen, she found in the back of one something that she thought would be pretty interesting to bring up and share with me for July 4th weekend. So I'm gonna bring her in and we're actually gonna, uh, we're gonna check these things out alongside each other since she's the one responsible for all of this. Come on in, mom. Hey. What, what did Look you bring what us? I found. What did you bring? Well, these are, I used jars of food that I put up. Um, you can see the date. I did them in August of 1994. August of 94. So that makes me, I would have been 10 years old. You were 10, right? So you were running around in the neighborhood and yep. I was gardening. I have my garlic from my garden my string beans from my garden uh, what are they? so are they they're pickles and there's there's um dill right dill. there's dill garlic and string beans uh-huh and so and basically like one. a dilly bean recipe right and this one these are uh pickles cucumbers and there's pickling spice in the bottom yep and i used the uh the ball recipes i had one of those older okay. ball books so tested recipes recipes that we know are good yep yep and um, it, it's a vinegar base. It's a white vinegar base that I used. And I used to put up my tomatoes. I and these are and some vegetables. I did some hot peppers, like uh, Hungarian hot peppers, mm -hmm. and I used to do them the same way. So the vegetables I always put up in vinegar, but the tomatoes they were acidic enough, yep. so I never really, you know, had to use vinegar. And I would just boil them down and thicken them a little bit and put fresh basil leaves in them, and then I would leave the tomatoes pretty plain, just tomatoes and basil. So, um, so when I cleaned out the cabinet, these two were still intact. And, and I would follow what they would tell you to do because when you would take the lids, they would tell you to bring the lids, put the, the unused lids in, in water mm -hmm. and bring it up to a boil and then leave the lids in the water. The jars, they wanted you to sterilize the jars. I would run them through the dishwasher yep. and they would be really hot. hot and, then, and then I would let the dishwasher dry them so the heat from the dryer. And you were water bath canning them anyway after. And I would so, bath canned yeah. them, yes. So I had that, that big that canner would that, that would do, I think, six jars. And that was the old style of lids too, because now they tell you not to boil them anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, they don't. the new ball lids, they don't want you to boil yeah. them anymore. Yeah. They want you, to, you can put them in hot water. You want They want everything hot when mm -hmm. it's going in. Cool, so these are 27 years old. And what we're gonna do today is we're gonna crack them open and we're gonna taste them. I'm not, <laughs> you can taste them. <laughs> I, I, I'm, gonna t I'm gonna taste these things um, to see kind of uh, if the flavor's still there, to see what the consistency is like on them. Uh, I'm pretty sure that they're gonna be a little mushy. Uh, she doesn't remember if she used pickle crisp on anything, which is... I would never have, because I didn't do right. any additives. I was into, like, organic stuff when I, I used no chemicals okay. in my gardens or anything. All so. right, so a couple safety precautions we're taking here. Obviously, the jars are still sealed. Um, you know, I, I can't tell if there's a false seal or not on these, which is, you know, a little bit tricky, but the jars are still sealed as far as we can tell. There's no give on them. They're sealed up tight. Uh, this jar does have just a little bit of rust around the rim, but just from oxidation, it didn't get wet or anything. They are vinegar-based recipes and they were water bath cans, so we're safe there. I know some people will water bath can non-acidic recipes, but these were vinegar-based recipes, so I'm confident they'll be acidic enough to keep stay safe over time. Uh, I do have my little pH tester right here. So we will be testing these before we eat anything, before I eat anything. <laughs> um, you might taste it at least. Uh, no, I'm ready to induce vomiting if something <laughs> happens to him. All right, so. she, she's a nurse I'm as well. So, so. Um, so we're gonna test for pH on this. Uh, make sure it's below 4.6. That's gonna 
take care of the botulism risk. Uh, botulism is, is the big one with these. That's the one that'll kill you. You know, other stuff may make you a little sick, but botulism will, will take you out. So that's pretty much where we're gonna go with this. I don't know. I just figured it would be neat to crack these things open and see what we can do. So um, so let's open them, I guess, first. We'll, we'll smell and see if anything's weird and kind of gross. And then, uh, and then we'll go from there. We'll play it by ear. Ah. So a little bit of discoloration on the bottom of the can, a little bit of funk. Smells like vinegar. Yeah, it doesn't smell bad. Oh wow, look at that. Here, let me, let me get the camera out. There's no weird, there's no off-putting smell at all. I wonder if this is slimy or... Probably a little slimy. This almost feels like rust. I used to use a, a can opener. Yeah, you can. Oh, that wow. Looks, that one looks better. Yeah, it looks a little better. Looks like it was starting. See, there's the difference between the two. Yep. I wonder if the seals are intact. It looks... Same thing. Smells vinegary. Yeah, it doesn't. There's no off... So, when you look at the color of the two... This one looks clearer than that. This one looks yellower. Yeah. But that could be from the pickling. There's like pickling spice in the bottom that this did not have. Yeah. So after what you just saw, I wonder how many of your viewers would actually put this in their mouth. I, I don't know. vote no. <laughs> would would, would you would you try mouth. these? Put leave in the comments down below if you would uh if you would do what we're about to do. Uh, what you're about to I'm do. I'm about to do. You might try them. No, yeah, I, you, I'm not putting that in my mouth. I'll touch it and feel it, but I'm not. Let's all right. see what the pH So let's is. get the pH tester out. I don't think they were sealed pretty well, so I don't think the uh, the pH would go off that much. It's like 3.5. It's, go, it's going down. It's actually really acidic. What does it have to be? 4.6 or below. 4.6 or oh. So we're leveling off right around 3.5. And you, you're sure that meter is working? Yep. Have you tested, I tested it, it against with vinegar. something? You tested okay. it with vinegar. All right. It is calibrated. So we're settling. We're pretty low. On this one, we are uh, around 3.2. So we are plenty acidic on this one. So that's telling us there's no botulism in it. Yeah, yep, botulism can't live. So I'm his mother, so you'll have to excuse me because if I tell him to spit it out because I get paranoid that he's going to get sick from it. You'll have to accept that because I'm his mother. I'm not spitting it out. <laughs> and he's my son. He never listened to me and he still isn't listening to All right, me. so we were 3.2 okay. on the green beans. Okay, let's see what we're at in the pickles. Three point, oh, it, 3 point. 3.2 as going well. Going down. Well, that's vinegar. Yeah. yeah. So we're about the same there. Oh, we got... I guess vinegar doesn't deteriorate. Not if it's sealed. Okay. All right. We're going to put it on the cutting board. Let's fish a green bean out. Yeah. Okay. How'd that feel when you it stabbed it? It felt a little soft. It's not falling apart. No, there's actually a little bit of crunch. Crunch. Yeah. Because so. if I remember correctly, they were not cooked. Yeah, no, you raw packed you them. You raw packed yep. them, right. All right, here we go. Don't swallow it. They're fine. They're totally fine. The consistency is not even like that off-putting. So if it was, if you needed to survive that, what about the clove of garlic? It's totally edible. This, this is my garlic from my garden, too. Look at that. That's a little chunky. I wonder if it smells like garlic. No, it smells like vinegar. Mm. Yeah, so. Yeah, it's. So, um, what you're tasting is the vinegar. You're not going to have the taste of the. There was a component. little bit. Of, no, there was a taste of green bean in there. Well. For sure. Yeah, totally. It totally 100% edible. I mean, assuming I don't get sick and, and 
30, 30, what is it, 30 to 48 hours or something? 12, 12 to 24 is, well. It doesn't hit you quickly. Well, I'm not going to eat oh. enough for botulism to no, really you're, take you're a hold not. It's not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to eat this whole jar. It's not like I'm going to toss it in no. the fridge now. And... No, you're not. You're not. <laughs> Good, pickle? let's get a pickle out. Should we get pickles that were submerged? Yeah, get this a pickle that was, was entirely submerged if you can. Okay, so that would be... Not this. that yellow looking funky one oh, either. They oh, they fell apart. Oh. oh, they fell apart. So this is what we kind of thought was going to happen. At least yeah, we maybe. thought with both. Yeah, well, get, this, get oh, that this, one out of there first. Put okay. it over there. This one, just the top was yeah. sticking out. So let's see. I'm going to use my hands. I don't think anything that's on your fingers is going to be the worst thing we'll, we'll encounter. Well, just feel it. It feels pretty solid. It's not slimy. No, it's not slimy. Uh, it's definitely soft. It's definitely soft. <laughs> it's soft. Yeah. yeah so um, it's not a crunchy pickle. No, it's very soft. It's it's barely taking any effort. And this is a sharp knife, but... Let me see if I press it with my finger. It's mushing out. And I'm not pressing very hard at all. Yeah, it's definitely soft. So, definitely soft. So, if you're going to eat it, eat a little teeny, teeny, tiny piece. You're almost going to want to eat it. No, I'm not going to want to eat it. But smell it. It smells, it, it smells a little off. I don't eat that. It smells just like a funky pickle. I don't think, I'm not going to eat the pickle. I'm not going to swallow it. I am going to chew it up and taste it, though. Make sure the dogs don't get it. You want to drink a water? I um, have water. Yeah, go grab me a water. <laughs> Should we induce vomiting? Mm -mm. No. Um, it's not... There's nothing off about it that says it's bad uh, from like a, a sickness standpoint. It's just... Uh, it, it the, the cucumber has not aged well in the vinegar um it just it just doesn't taste good like it's not something so like you know how some people say like i don't like tomatoes or i don't like mushrooms yeah it, it's like that like if this was a vegetable that was fresh um it wouldn't taste bad to some people i'm sure i just wouldn't like it so if it was if it was a i need to eat this to stay alive during the if there was yeah if there i mean i'm sure at this point with it as old as it is there's not a ton of nutritional value still in it um a lot of the vitamins and minerals that just the vinegar is kind of taking its toll on them but if it was all you had to eat and you were looking to get through it like if it was survival food i, I i'm confident it wouldn't make you sick I would probably forage in the forest before I would eat this. If yeah. My survival depended on it. <laughs> I'd be looking for dandelions. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. I mean, yeah. There's a lot of there's a lot of better stuff in the woods yeah, than this. Than this. But um. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, uh, the green beans. I almost want to eat another green bean. No. Like they, <laughs> they're not bad. Like they don't taste bad at all. They the consistency is a little soft. But if somebody gave me a jar of those for like Christmas. And said, "Oh, I can these last summer," and, <laughs> and I ate them, and I didn't know how old they were. I would just think that they maybe they cooked them. They, you know, that would not be a good friend. I that think, would be the ultimate in regifting. No, but I think you know they. Might, I would have just. I would have thought, hey, they just processed these too long, and they cooked the green beans a little too much. Well, how about I make this deal with you? You don't eat these, and then when your gardens, which is beautiful behind us, starts producing, we'll put up some fresh green beans. And you can have those in Christmas. All right, I'll take that. I'll take that deal. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, hey, that was fun. Um, I know a little bit different video than we often put out, but uh, but when my mom said that she had these these cans that she'd found that were 27 years old, uh, you know, I, I kind of told her I was like, bring them up. You know, I I want to at least see them. And then I always kind of said I was gonna eat them too. And so you didn't you didn't make me vomit. I ate the green no, bean. I no. swallowed it. Once we shut the camera off, I still might be the mother thing. <laughs> She's gonna but hold I've me down. I'm dying to get on the channel. So this, thank you. No problem. For letting me here. I love you. Love you too. Even if I die by tomorrow. We're saying and goodbye. And you killed me. Yep. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you're new to the channel. We'd love to have you around for all of the crazy, fun gardening, homesteading <laughs> uh, things like this. That I don't, now is this gonna be like 
become my mo. Like if this video goes viral, I'm gonna <laughs> have to. I'm gonna have to eat old food all the time. Oh no! Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.